when you come to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. The quitter will never take you down the road you want to travel. I believe we all have a winner in us. There is a winner inside of you. Sometimes we just have been around negativity for way too long, developed a mindset of a winner. The truth is, most people give up on their dream. Most people give up on their dream to live the average lifestyle. But it really doesn't matter what most people do. What do you do? Because you are different. You will never give up on your dream. You will never not listen to the average. You will always listen to the winner in you. You will believe in yourself when no one else does. You will believe in yourself when you have no reason to believe. And you will never, ever quit. I know some of you are going through a rough time right now. Some of you are going through the fight of your life, fighting for your future, fighting for your career, fighting for your family. Some of you are fighting for your life. And I'm telling you, don't quit. Do not give in. I know life can be tough. I know life can wear you down. But if you just stick it out, even if you don't get the result you will find, the character you show will be your reward. The fighting spirit you develop will be the reward. And it will serve you well for the rest of your life. Fight for what you want now or fight against what you don't want later. You choose. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare settle. Don't you dare get back down. Not today or any other day. When the tough moments come, never forget you are in that moment writing your own legacy. In that tough moment, you are setting the standard for your character. Do you have the character? Well, do you? When you come up to a crossroad and run into the winner and the quitter in you, listen to the winner. When you make a commitment to yourself, you make sure you see it through. Never, ever quit. Even if you don't get the result, you will find the character you show will be your reward. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare ever settle. And don't you dare ever back down. Fight for what you want or fight against what you don't want at a later time. And always know that God is right there with you. Just allow God to guide and direct you. And you will always be a winner. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. Also, you can see this as a video version on channel Take Your Life Back Today show on YouTube. Folks, early Saturday morning, just want to say good morning to everyone. And I want to talk about the importance of giving without expecting anything in return from anyone. In the past, I was the type of person who expected something in return if I gave. This ended up uh, very damaging for me, and uh, I would become bitter and resentful, as well as feeling hurt. I would expect that if I spent time thinking of what I gave and expected the same in return, I would often be disappointed, and I'm sure the same goes for you. Over the last few years, I have learned that the most important gift someone can give uh, uh, anyone, including you, is the gift of time. We live in a world of being busy where everyone will make excuses why they cannot come and visit and see you. Now, I know that people who want to see me will make uh, time to see me. You can't make everyone happy, but I digress. This is about giving without expecting anything in return. I have uh, recently discovered that giving without and expecting payback can turn into something amazing. Now, some people will call this karma, and maybe that is what it is. We are, however, in a fast-moving world where we expect immediate responses. This is not, however, how the universe works. Now, I, uh, I'm uh, not saying that we never get immediate responses, but in terms of giving, more often than not, we will get the return of that giving much later. It comes around sooner or later. Don't be afraid to ask for help, particularly asking people you have helped in the past. You'll be surprised that people will say yes to, and most no's are not right now, not never. So, when you get a no, try later. It may have changed to yes. My key point is uh, that when you give without expecting anything in return, you will often get something back. 
without even realizing it. One place that I would recommend uh, you look is at the kindness uh, offensive. I recently had a talk titled, Can Money Buy You Happiness? And uh, Robert Williams from the kindness of offensive explained the amazing things that are happening through their movement. Robert challenged us to buy a second coffee when we uh, went next to go to the coffee shop and to tell the barista to give the second cup of coffee to a person right behind you and wait to see who gets the coffee. Hopefully that person. You will get a wonderful feeling seeing the effect it will have on the person. You don't have to tell them that you bought it either because then you're advertising it. We also had Nick Marks of Happiness Inc. at this talk. He spoke about five critical things for happiness. These are to connect, be active, take action, keep learning, and to give. No, nothing to do with money. We live in a world where we are constantly told that things will bring you happiness. The latest car, the bigger house, the bag, the shoes. This doesn't work. You need to connect with people. Look after yourself. Mind and body, learn to be active and meditate. Take notice of your surroundings and be present at all times. Take a de digital detox, go for a walk, travel, spend time with people talking and listening, turn those phones off and you are spending time with friends and family. And remember this, give. You see a person struggling to pay, offer to pay. Give your space in a Cue to the person who has one item or obviously is in a rush. Giving doesn't have to be financial. Give time. Volunteer. There are so many opportunities to be a positive impact on the world. You just need to know and do. But don't expect something in return. Be grateful for the gifts you get back. They will come, but also be grateful for the positive impact that you have on someone else's life. That is more valuable than getting thanks or gifts in return. I also recommend you read Learning to Let Go, Cultivating Connections Without Attachments by Sophie uh, Dubas. This is also relating to the, uh, this video and a great uh, uh, read. I'll leave you with a challenge. Over the next week, try to do one act of giving every day and share what impact doing that act of kindness has had on you. You can share on uh, any 10 of my Facebook pages, Twitter, or Instagram. The name is Take Your Life Back Today Show. Call me at 844-405-HELP. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to a total stranger can help that stranger and change that person, uh, stranger's life forever. And remember, give. Because when you give and don't expect in return, you will get in return. May God bless you. I hope you all have a great Saturday today. And we'll talk to you real soon. And may God bless you. Take good care. Mm -hmm.